What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now check this out, I got a little smile on my face, why? Because listen, I'm finna show you guys just how easy it is, and when I say easy, I'm, I'm talking about super easy, how easy it is to make, you look, these are just some sweet and spicy, you know, barbecue wings, and check this out, we gonna do them in the crock pot. Hey, I ain't gonna over talk it, I'm finna, we finna get right into these ingredients, and then I'm getting ready to show you how to put them in here and get them started, this should only take you about 10 minutes. Now, take a look right here, I guess I'll go ahead and start with the wings. Look, these are my wings. You guys can put what, you know, I'm gonna leave all the ingredients down in the description box below, but I have doubled this because I make this all the time. You know, where it's super easy. And look at these, this is a lot of wings. I got a large bowl, right? So we over, we got about six pounds of wings. Over here, we got brown sugar, ketchup, honey, salt, garlic, soy sauce, and chili paste. Hey, super easy. <laughs> hey, I can't do nothing but laugh. I almost didn't even make this, you know what I mean? Cause it's just that easy. Now, take a look right here. Over here, I got my crock pot, right? This is my seven quart crock pot. You're gonna need something big if you're gonna double the recipe. If not, if you got a smaller one, remember down in the description box below, everything is in there. Now, all right, now the simplicity of this video is, check this out. You put everything inside of the crock pot, right? So look, I'm gonna start with my brown sugar. That's in. I got my ketchup. You want to get yourself one of these, you know, little rubber spatulas. This helps because you want to get everything in here. Now, I called it barbecue sauce, right? I said, I mentioned barbecue sauce in the video. Listen, that's what essentially we making. Now you guys try it this way, see how you like it, and then reach out to me and let me know if you want to do it the real, real fast way of just making your own. But this right here, this combination I'm giving you right now is like fire, folks. Trust me when I tell you that. Now, that was the honey, sprinkling our salt, soy sauce. Now we're gonna add our chili paste. You know, real easy, you guys. Really one of them dump and go type videos. Now, the part that's gonna make me really smile, let's check this out, I'm finna use my garlic press. Now we just wanna go ahead and just, you know what, these are kinda small, so I can actually do two at a time. Do it like this so you guys can see. All right, so once you get everything in here, look, you want to go ahead and just mix it all up. And this right here just made a spicy barbecue sauce. Now that brown sugar, that's going to play a key role once they're done, right? But you see this right here? This is what you're looking for, and this should look just like that, whether you double the recipe or not, right? This is the consistency. Now, for the easy part, right? You wanna take your wings and just go ahead and add them. I've already washed my wings. I know the FDA say you don't have to wash them no more and all of that, but I do, you know? And I doubled this recipe, right? So that's why we got so much. I'll just go ahead and add some. I'm just gonna add a few right now, but since I did double, this way you can get them coated a little bit easier, right? But just move them like this. Once these are coated, all nice. We add some more. All right, so once you got them all mixed up, all of them are completely coated, right? Put your lid on the top, hit power. We wanna hit high cook, and we are gonna go one to two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and go an hour and a half, and then we are gonna check them to see if they go, need to go any further, right? So we got that, we are gonna add an hour and a half. We got that, we are gonna hit start. And I'll see you guys in an hour and a half. Okay, timer just went off, it's been two hours, right? So we'll take these off. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this a little closer. You wanna get yourself a pan, and you wanna make sure you got like a, a baking sheet, right? And listen, if you wanna have less cleanup, you wanna go ahead and put yourself some foil, parchment paper, or like a mat. Let me get mine set up right now. All right, so you can see, I put my little mat down, right? You guys are gonna appreciate that, or you, like I said, you can use foil. You're gonna appreciate it when it comes time for the cleanup. So all I'm gonna do is just line all of my, my wings, you know, like this. Okay, so you guys can see, look, put all of these on there and there was some more on another one that's off the camera. So we got plenty of wings, right? So now we are gonna move this off to the side. Then you wanna go ahead and get set up. Get yourself a saucepan, right? You wanna take all of the juice that you had left, you know, from that, this is your sauce, and we are gonna thicken it up. We just wanna reduce it down, right? Okay, so take a look at this right here. Look, it's boiling, right? 
What we want to do is cook off some of this liquid in here and make this thick like barbecue sauce. You know what? Then after we done, after we get the desired thickness, then we're going to go over here onto these uh, wings and we're going to coat them and we're going to put them in there and broil them a little bit, right? Speaking of broil, let me come on over here. I'm going to go ahead and set up my oven, get it going. I'm going to hit start. And now we're getting ready to get cooking. Now look, this is what it looked like for me after 13 minutes, right? Don't forget, I doubled my recipe. So this is what we're going to look at right here. You see this? You can see the thickness. You know what I mean? If I grab it now, it's just a little bit thicker. You can get it to go down a little bit more, but the more you cook down, the smaller it gets, and you want to make sure you got enough, you know, to coat it. So I'm gonna let it go for maybe about another two or three minutes, and after that, we're gonna brush. Okay, so here we go. Look, keep in mind, as it cools, it's gonna thicken up too, right? So now, get yourself a brush. This is how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get everything close so we don't make no, no big mess, right? I'm just gonna take it like this, and just we just wanna brush it. You wanted to be able to stick on there, and that was the whole purpose of us, you know, getting it thick. Now, once we put it in this broiler, right? You know, it's got that brown sugar. You wanna make sure it don't burn. So look, don't walk away from it, and make sure you're washing it through your window. That's it. Let me get these coated, and then I'm gonna put them in, and I'm gonna show you what they look like. I'm probably gonna do this about three to four times. It depends on how they look, but you want them to look real nice. It's already a little spicy. It's gonna be sweet, and it's gonna be fire. Okay, so look. Here it is right here. Look, I got them coated. This is just my first coating. And if you look back here, check this one out. This is what you guys did not see. This is my overflow. Because remember, I doubled the recipe. Now, I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven, right? Remember, I'm not finna walk away from this or nothing. This is like two to three minutes with my eyes on that window, watching them caramelize. Okay, here we go. Look at this. That was just layer number one, right? We just building on that flavor. I promise you folks, it's worth it. But listen, if you can't wait, one coating is enough. And then for those who are really impatient, you ain't even gotta put none on there at all, you know? But look at this right here. Remember, the key is when you got them in the broiler, you wanna make, when you got it on that broil setting, you wanna make sure you watch them because that brown sugar will caramelize and burn. But that's another fire, you know, thing too. You know, a lot of people think that burnt is no good, but check this out, that's flavor also. But for the thumbnail purposes and everything else, we're gonna do it, you know, the right way, the pretty way. Take a look at that right there. Ah, oh, yeah. That right there, this is gonna be it. I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time after this. All right, so now I'm in for my last time. What I'm doing is just like cutting some green onion tops. This is all I need, because this is gonna be for that garnish, folks. And I done already seen them. I didn't show you guys that second time, but these are gonna be right. All right. Tell me what you guys think about that there. These right here are done right. Look, they caramelized, that's that brown sugar. Hey, these right here is perfect. Now, what we gonna do is we gonna let these cool and then we finna go ahead and plate those and we finna get us some. All right, so they've cooled. I got my plate. I'm gonna go ahead and just take one of these like this and I'm gonna just go ahead and do my plating. Hey, you guys know I love to do this this part right here. These little white plates right here make these wings really, really pop. Now you guys can put them on here however you like. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below where all my flat people at. I know y'all out here. There's really no right way or wrong way to do these folks. Just get them on a the plate, hit it with a little garnish, and eat. All right, then I think I'm gonna put just maybe one more on top of here. We'll just put it like right there. And I went, yeah, I think it's calling for one more. You know what I mean? This is for all my people that like them flats. We'll put that one right there on the top. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. It's like being a little artist, huh? And I'm gonna take a little, a little green onion top. You know, hit it like that. And then I really don't wanna have like a bare plate, right? So check out what I'm gonna do now. Just add maybe this, a couple of more. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my my pepper. Let a little bit of this fall on a plate too. Ah yeah. And that there, folks. That's my presentation. Sweet and spicy crock pot wings. Let's get it. All right. So look, it's time for me to go ahead and do my thing. This is it right here. Take a look at that right there. Hey, look at that. If you like sweet and spicy and you like wings, this is a no-brainer, folks. Hey, real easy. Hey, enough talking, let's get it. Mm. 
Oh yeah. You can see right here, look at this. I should have these on the menu. Come on. Look at how clean that is. You can see it's cooked all the way through. Perfect. I like these little no maintenance cooks. Hmm. Hey, these are just delicious, you know? Hey, tough on your fingers, because listen, they're going to be a little sticky, right? But when you eat them, hey, hands down, this along with the rest of the wings that I do, this right here is like a party favorite also. Only thing I can say is, listen, we don't have enough crock pots because the maintenance on this is really, really low. Like to put this together is perfect. Put these out and these don't last long either. Hey, with that being said, listen, I'm not going to over target. I got people behind me making all kind of googly faces and all kind of stuff. They trying to tell me hurry up so they can eat. Now, listen, if you guys are new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell, right? That way you guys will be notified every time I drop any of these easy fire recipes that I do. Hey, with that being said, I got some wings to eat. I'm out of here. Peace.